This is my friend's house and she has asked me to give a major makeover to all 10 rooms in her house. This is going to be a huge undertaking and could quite possibly turn into a year long whole home major renovation. The first room we are tackling is the boys room on a $1,500 budget, which has to account for the makeover and all of the furnishings. This room is currently lacking in character and just plain boring. More importantly, it lacks the functionality that rapidly growing preteen boys desperately need, such as a desk for homework and personal space. So join me as I begin giving this boys room a complete makeover and attempt to check all of their boxes while staying under budget. It's day one of our project, and of course, we are starting with a Lowe's trip. I'm grabbing some joint compound to age the brick panels, some dry decks to fill the holes on the wall, primer to cover some dark spots on the wall, and many other painting and paneling materials. I'm gonna be needing eight of these faux brick panels, and they won't fit in the back of my car, so we're gonna send Michael back to pick them up. This is the first of many more Lowe's and Home Depot trips to come, but for now we have what we need, so we're off to Ashley's to get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the uh, boys' bedroom makeover, and we're gonna go ahead and wipe everything down, get the dust off of everything, finish pulling off the window brackets for the uh, window shades. <laughs> Then we'll be ready to paint and do the trim and the doors and give those a fresh coat as well. Then we'll be ready to move on to the panels. I started by removing all of the brackets for the blinds and was shocked to find an unbelievably long screw. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 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 Paint prep is my least favorite part of any room makeover, but it's necessary to get clean lines and a professional finish. So I'll be removing outlet covers, light switches, and door hardware, so we'll have a nice clean slate to work with. But before we start painting, let me give you an idea of what we're planning to do. For the room design, I'll be doing a more masculine industrial modern feel with a long list of wants and needs to incorporate into our very tight budget. By selling some larger priced items, they were able to increase our budget by another $1,225, giving us an overall budget of $2,725. So we're getting started by actually painting trim and doors, and I'm going to begin by rolling the walls and the ceiling. To keep ourselves entertained, we decided to play a little joke on Ashley's husband, Michael. So she knew he was on his way home, so she sent a text message telling him that Boomer had knocked over the paint can and it was all over the floor. We kept him in suspense until he walked through the door. Hey, Ben. Don't yell, he's outside getting the mail. Oh, he is? Yeah. Come here. Go tell Dad, go tell Dad. Oh my gosh, Dad. There's paint that the paint was everywhere from Boomer. Oh, it's okay. It's not from Boomer. It's everywhere. What? Yes. I'm not one everywhere. You guys messing with me? Yeah, I don't know. You. Oh, man. You guys got me. I was like, you probably don't put Boomer outside, so I can kill you. I was like, after having a good laugh, it was time for a more serious discussion. Uh, On another note, we might need a favor though. Of course. We thought that the excess paint that they had left over was going to be enough huh? from our closet. Chalk paint, because I mean, as you yes. can see, like I'm going to have enough to do the, the one coat, huh? but it's going to need two coats because this paint is like sopping it up. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we might need another. Extra. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll go run right out. Uh, oh, so it's not one that they mix. It's just, it's just remix. That's what they got it from. My guess is that they got it either from Ace or from. Oh, that's bigger. It's Ace. I'm almost positive. 
No, Home Depot. Duh, look. <laughs> I can't even see that they got it from Home Depot. Did it say Home Depot? Oh, I can't even see. The orange. Oh, the that behind it. Nice price there, too. <laughs> yeah, so, I, yeah, I'm right back. And I see you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we have the paint situation sorted, I'm ready to pick my roller up and begin painting again. As I began rolling the ceiling with the next can of paint, I kept thinking how white the ceiling is looking. I thought it must be the way the light is reflecting of the angle of the ceiling and that's why it looks different from the color on the wall. Then I notice on this wall something that looks like the paint trying to drip back off the wall as though I hadn't rolled it. Then I knew something was obviously wrong, but I just was not sure what yet. Little did I know it was going to be a major problem. I'm wondering, did that wall get wiped out with the duster? Yes, okay, it did. After a lot of talking, we still couldn't figure out exactly what was going on with the paint, so we decided to call it quits for the night and come back the next day with more energy and a fresh set of eyes. So to recap what happened yesterday, we had two main problems. The first was humidity and the second was paint color. The humidity was significantly higher than I had realized. I opened the windows to allow for ventilation because it was such a nice cool day. But of course with the humidity as high as it was, the walls had condensation on them above the windows and I couldn't see it up that high before I had begun rolling. This caused the paint to begin sliding back off the wall. I then had to scrape all the paint back off and then allow for it to dry. As for the paint color, that was an unfortunate accident. Michael gave the paint can to the lady at Home Depot to color match. He walked around and came back to pick it up from the lady and she handed him the paint can directly from the shelf without him never even knowing that it hadn't been mixed. So when I opened the paint can I thought it looked really white but we ran into this problem in the master bedroom a few weeks ago and the extra paint looked white in the can but when I tested it on the wall it was clearly gray. I just assumed this was the same situation and it would dry gray, but man, was I wrong. Uh, woo, there. There we go. Now we're in business. Look at how, ah, look at that. When I started applying the correct paint, I was so relieved to see that all the prep work was worth it and that it was going according to plan. It is such a sigh of relief to finally see progress being made in this room. It was really feeling like we were taking two steps forward only to take two steps backward, or at least that's how it felt. But now that we are getting the paint and trim done, we are that much closer to the fun part of the makeover. I really love watching a room take shape right in front of my eyes, finally being able to see my vision unfold, confirming my color choices are the right fit for the room, and just being anxious to put all the pieces together. I will say at this point on day two of painting, my body was getting pretty sore, but I just kept thinking about the next phase of the process being so much fun, getting the brick panels up and seeing the look really come to life. Of course, we can't forget the details, like cleaning the fan and painting the vents. So we're just gonna spray these vents so that um, they're just sort of back to new. This is an appliance epoxy enamel, and I've used it at my house quite a bit anytime I do a makeover. That way it just kind of gives it a fresh, clean look after, of course, we've, you know, it's already been washed. But 
especially in bathrooms and stuff, they have a tendency to get a little bit of rust and things like that. So it's just a good idea. If you're already up there, pull it down, clean it, and then just spray it, and then you don't have to worry about them rusting. After finally finishing up all of the painting, it was now time for one of my very favorite parts of the painting process. Is there anything more satisfying than pulling tape off your freshly painted wall, revealing perfectly clean lines and the overwhelming satisfaction of yet another painting job well done? I love it. It's just like Christmas morning, opening a present and seeing that bright, shiny new object. So after two full days of hard work, a painting fiasco, and a few hard lessons learned, the painting in this room is finally finished and I love how it turned out. But this is only the beginning as it sets the stage for my favorite part of the project, the design. Next week I'll be installing the brick panels, which will set the backdrop for our room to begin taking shape. I will be texturing the walls for a more industrial fill and will paint one of the walls as well. We'll see you back next week as we start to see all of the pieces of our design unfold. Thanks for watching. Bye.